Hello friends. Today we will learn 11th chapter of your economics emerging issues of Indian economy. The chapter has been divided in three broad categories. First is migration, second is urbanization and the third one is infrastructure facilities. Migration is further divided in types of migration, reasons of the migration and some positive and negative effects about the migration. Whereas urbanization is divided in three part types of urbanization, positive and negative effects of the urbanization and the third one is measures should be taken by government to minimize the effects of urbanization. The third infrastructure facility has been divided in five part petroleum, railway, education, health and electricity. All these five are the short knot and very important question. Let us study migration in detail. Migration refers to movement of a person. Migration refers to movement of a person from one place to another place from his or her native place. Here just a movement is specified either within the country or outside the country for job, business, occupation or better living standard. Then it is considered as migration only if it is on permanent basis. The point to be noted if it is on temporary basis then we can never consider it as migration. Okay friends, let's move towards the third part of our video that is types of migration. Types of migration has been divided in two broad categories. First, place based migration and second, reason based migration. Place based migration has been further divided in two part. One is internal migration and second is international migration. Whereas reason based migration is further divided in two part. One is migration due to pull factor and second is migration due to push factor. Let us study internal migration in detail. Migration which took place within geographical boundaries of a country. Migration which took place within geographical boundaries of a country is considered as internal migration whereas migration took place outside geographical boundaries of a country is considered as international migration. The main thing is geographical boundaries of a country. Let us take an example. If a person is traveling from Ahmedabad to Mumbai, then it is internal migration. And if a person is traveling from Ahmedabad to America, then it is international migration. Okay. Let us study <coughs> reason based migration in detail. Migration due to pull factor. If migration is done because of the attraction of modern lifestyle, infrastructure facilities and better living standard. If migration is done because of the attraction of modern lifestyle, infrastructure facilities and better living standard then we will consider it as migration due to pull factors. Friends, I can say that all these three factors are pulling the person from rural area to urban area. Basically, these are the persons who are economically prosperous and they are migrating from rural area to urban area by their own wish. So it is also considered as voluntary migration. When a person is forced to migrate, when a person is forced to migrate because of lack of business, lack of opportunities or lack of educational facilities, then it is considered as migration due to push factor. Friends, I can say that all these three factors are pushing the person from rural area to urban area because he is economically poor and he has to find some opportunities in urban area. 
as we all know it is a compulsory so we will consider it as compulsory migration as the person has to face compulsion to migrate from rural area to urban area you can make the note of the whole table In the fourth part of our video, we will learn about reasons of migration. Reasons of migration has been divided in four broad categories. Economical reason, social reason, political reason and natural calamities and environmental factors. Let us study economical reason in detail. First, job, occupation and business. It is not obvious that a person has to migrate from his or her native place to anywhere in search of job, occupation or business. Transfer Again similar kind of point, if a person will get transfer from job, compulsory he has to migrate. Third, Education If a person is not able to get proper education facility, then for better education he has to migrate to any other distinct place. Fourth, health. Again the similar topic, if a person is unable to get proper health related facility, then he has to migrate to some urban area to get ultra modern health facilities. Fifth, extent of natural resources. Friends, this is a two mark point and can be asked as a separate question. There are some places where natural resources are available in huge quantity. But population is very low. So people prefer to migrate to such places in search of better economic opportunities. For example, in India, there are lots of people who migrated to UA, Switzerland, New Zealand as well as to Australia just because of the high amount of natural resources available in those countries. Sixth and the last is plant migration. It is not possible for a whole family to migrate to some urban area because of their economic condition. So what they do, they plan to send one person per family for earning purpose to some urban area. And in this manner, the planned migration will take place. As economic reason is having six point, it can be separately asked as a five mark question. Second main category, social reasons. First, marriage. It is very simple point that a lady has to migrate from her native place after getting married. Second, respite from social rituals. Again friends, a two mark question. See, society in rural area is orthodox and you also have to follow lots of traditions. But in urban area, society is liberal and people are having modern thinking. So the youth of rural area will get attracted towards this modern lifestyle and liberal thinking and in this manner, the person will migrate from rural area to the urban area. Third, political reason. First, war and unrest. In some areas where war took place on a continuous basis, people have to live in fear and insecurity. So they leave the situation of unrest and move to a safe and secure place. And migration took place in this manner. Second, avoid friction. Whenever riots took place within any state, people will not prefer to stay at those places for a longer period of time and they will migrate to some peaceful places. Here, social reason and political reason both are having two two reasons so they can be separately asked as a two or three mark question the last point is natural calamities and environmental factors 
exactly whenever there is any kind of natural calamities which affect any particular region then people have to migrate on a mass scale for example volcanic eruption tsunami earthquake flood in all such situation migration will take place apart from that in some cases whenever there is some developmental activity is taking place then also people has to migrate on a large scale for example whenever the construction of sardar sarovar dam was taking place lots of people has to migrate from their rural area from their villages to some other places and due to this developmental activities migration took place in all over the reasons of the migration can also be asked separately as a five mark question and in that particular way it depends on you that how you should reduce the size of the answer okay i hope that you should make a note of the whole point in fifth and last part of our video we will learn about effects of migration in which two positive and four negative effects are there first positive effects first growth of income the main purpose of migration is income generation when a person get migrated to urban area he will send some portion of his income to his family in rural area such income will get invested in agriculture sector and in turn it will develop agriculture sector apart from that agriculture sector will also develop agriculture related business and agro industries also in this manner growth of income will result in development of many industries second contribution towards a faster economic development when a people of our country migrate to some foreign countries they will send some portion of their income to india this will increase inflow of foreign exchange and provide investment to indian business also those students who went to abroad for higher studies they will also bring some expertise and such knowledge and expertise will help to develop economy faster one thing which we should note is that when an educated and skilled person will migrate to urban area it will have positive effects of urbanization but when an unskilled person will migrate to urban area then it definitely will give us some negative effects of migration let us look into the detail negative effects of migration first unregulated urbanization when an unskilled and uneducated person migrate to urban area he will not be able to get sufficient income as a result he has to live in the hutments and slum in outer range of urban areas in this way process of urbanization will become unregulated second shortage of infrastructure facilities hutments and dirty slum areas make the local administration ineffective so they can't provide enough water drainage road transportation communication toilets education schools health services etc all these things will result in serious health issues as per the poor class are affected by serious life threatening diseases so shortage of infrastructure facilities make the problem of urbanization more serious third problem of environmental pollution those persons who are living in hutments or slums they do not have enough facilities like toilet and drainage as well as waste removal system is also absent and this will create problem of pollution due to lower amount of public transport system people have to choose alternative transport and as a result air pollution will rise is faster apart from that noise pollution and water pollution are also very serious problem in the urban areas fourth and the last point social levels everyone who migrate to some urban area are not able to get expected lifestyle and income so to satisfy their expectation they shift to some anti social activities like theft and loot apart from that huge scale social friction is also observed in urban areas on the basis of language 
class and culture in this manner the positive and negative effects of migration ultimately affect urbanization also